On this episode, we will follow two young vets as they uncover the mystery of the Merle gene in dogs. to this week's episode of Canine Conundrums. Today we're at the OVC investigating an interesting genetic case. Meet Amanda, a new owner of two Australian Shepherd litter mates, Turtle and Justin. We don't know much about why she's visiting the clinic today, other than she complains that Justin spaces out and doesn't pay attention. Now that we've met Amanda and her dogs, why don't we send the vets in and get started? absolutely perfect turtle, and the other, Justin, who's just spaced out all the time. To be more specific about what's up with Justin, there's just something wrong with him. People will come over to the house, and turtle will run to the door and greet them, and 20 minutes later, Justin will come walking and finally realize that someone's come into the house. When I call them, he doesn't come. He's always spaced out and off in a corner. There's just there's something wrong with that dog. Mm -hmm. Turtle's perfect, but Justin, I can't get his attention unless I spray him with a spray bottle. Justin! See? Remember, students, to be empathetic and consider your client's feelings. So how does that make you feel? Clearly frustrated. Does somebody need a hug? A hug? Don't worry, Amanda. We'll figure this out. Hmm. What a peculiar case. Yeah. Did you notice that both dogs were Merle? That's true. Let's go to the library and see if we can figure this out. Good idea. These include Collies and Shetland Sheepdogs, Australian Shepherds, Great Danes, Chihuahuas, Welsh Corgis, Catahoula Leopard Dogs, Dachshunds, and rarely some other breeds as well. The Merle trait is autosomal and is incompletely dominant. Dogs like Turtle with the characteristic Merle pattern are heterozygous. Dogs with the homozygous recessive condition have a normal uniform pigmentation. Dogs with the homozygous dominant genotype are mostly white and often have auditory and ophthalmologic abnormalities. These dogs are known as double merles. For example, Justin. Okay, that's great. I found some pretty cool stuff too. See? It says here, the merle coat pattern is the result of genetically defective melanin, creating patches of diluted pigment seen in the fur. But the cells responsible for this coat pattern, called melanocytes, are found in tissues other than just the stratum basale layer of the skin's epidermis. Melanocytes are also found in the inner ear, which explains why defective melanocytes may cause deafness, as well as the middle layer of the eye, the uvea. This causes a wide variety of eye defects in rural dogs. Melanocytes are also present in the meninges, in bones, and in the heart. This seems to be more rare, but severe cases of Merle dogs may have a wide variety of developmental defects. Some studies I've found also state that the prevalence of these disorders, such as deafness in Merle dogs, is not associated with eye color or sex, so that's not something that we have to worry about. Alright, 
I think we have some good basics about the Merle gene, but we don't really fully understand it yet. I think it's time to talk to an expert. about Merle dogs, but I believe it's a condition similar to the Warren Burke syndrome. In fact, the Merle condition is related to the Wardenburg syndrome found in humans. The Wardenburg syndrome is characterized by deafness, partial albinism, and a potential decrease in intellectual functioning. Diagnosis of Wardenburg syndrome is based primarily on biopsy and genetic testing. There is no specific treatment for Wardenburg syndrome. Well, I was hoping to avoid this, but I think we're going to have to go see Dr. Merle, the Dr. Merlin Merle from Siberia. discover more about the Merle condition. All the way from Guelph, Ontario, I think I can help you. Let me see what's in my book. Ah, here it is. Come see. 